Hi and welcome some, to some more live action from Tabitha's Glass Emporium. Today I'm bringing you these new project kits. They're kits you will get to make an entire project. So let's say the one I'm showing you today is to make this little project. And so if you buy this kit, you'll get everything you need to make this project. And I'm going to show you how to make it today. So let's say you didn't want to buy the kit and you still wanted to make this project. You're going to learn how to do it today. Um, so in the kit, you'll get the base glass, the strips of glass you need to do the project, the little boat, the powder, the little marini, frit and stringers. You'll all need to do this project. So first of all, you need to fuse a, the bottom layer. And to do that, you have a piece of base glass. You put these strips like this and this one over the top, like so, so they're butting up. So you're going to have six mil at the corners, but here you won't. Now we've got to make sure that this fuses onto the main level. And how we do that, so we're going to add a bit of powder first because we're going to use this wispy white for the sky, but I want a bit of blue behind it. So I'm going to put a bit of powder. I'm going to quickly put my, put my mask on and putting some powder in the sky like so quite a good layer on a quite a nice covering of blue powder in the sky so once you've done that then these pieces go on and you're probably best to do this straight onto a kiln shelf or you can move it over afterwards and this will go in a, a kiln on a full fuse and then when it comes out it will look something like this so once you have this out of the kiln on a full fuse you want to decorate it i can take my mask off now let's put the powder to one side just going to move this a little bit and tidy up so you've got your base glass now for me, I like to then think about where am I going to put my boat? So that's for me is my most important thing. So I'm using the, the, um, the bullseye glass tack gel, but you can use Elmer's glue, whichever you like. We don't provide the glue guys. We presume you could be able to get hold of some glue. Um, and of course you'll need a kiln. So I like putting my boat with a little bit of the sail in the sky and the boat kind of in the blue. So there's my boat. Move them back a bit, and then I'm going to put some more gel glue around and thinking about the stringers. So I use little pots like this. I'm going to turn out my stringers here, and I'm looking for some stringers. And if you've got they're too short, you can always put them a bit further up because there's going to be um, green frit to go at the bottom anyway. And I'm going to just lay my stringers on like so. However, I want. Now, at the bottom, we want some um, smaller stringers. I'm sorry, we're trying to get in the light. I'm going to move it slightly over here so it's all in the sunlight. I'm just breaking my stringers up to be the shorter stringers at the front of the project. And I like having some of the stringers going kind of up into the sea as well. It's like you're looking through a flower meadow at a boat on the water in the distance. I add a couple more on the outskirts. You're gonna take way more time and be much careful, more careful when you do this project than I am. But as you can see, I'm trying to do it as quick as possible. So I'm not taking up too much of your valuable time. Okay, here we go. So after that, I put some green frit on. Got a little bag of green frit. This is coarse and fine, um, fine frit, so you don't need a mask for this. And I'm just gonna sprinkle that on at the front here. Again, you're going to take your time with this. I'm just getting it on there so you can see how to make the project. So once that is on, and then you've got your marini. Now again, I'm going to put my marini in a nice bowl. We've got this beautiful little 
um, uh, small marini. Some of them, sometimes with the uh, minis, they're really hard to cut. And if you get a long piece like this, if you have a pair of these, which most people should have because they're a really useful tool to have, you can cut them. We will try and make sure in your packs you won't get any that are too long. Um, but just in case one slips through, you can always cut them down yourself. And this, oh, it's great. Then you get two for the price of one. Um, and so then I tend to put a dot of glue somewhere, like on my paper here. And then with my tweezers, I take the thing and I dot and I put them on. And um, we've got Sabina here, who's now gonna also help me put these on so we can get them on as quickly as possible. So you can get an idea of how it should look in the end. This is Sabina, who's our newest employee. She's taking over from Miller, who's leaving us to have a baby, which is very exciting. But, you know, we're sad, we're gonna miss her, but we're very happy to have Sabina on board with us, filling the, filling the void. I was about to say it's a large void to fill, but Miller might hit me for that one. <laughs> She's being very quiet in the background. She's doing a fine job of filming. So guys, you get the idea. I think we're probably not gonna film all of the, us putting these on, but you you know, if you want to put them on, I, uh, you know, my rule is don't try and match a stringer to the top of a, um, a flower to the top of a stringer, because it always looks a bit kind of um, childlike. Just put your flowers on. As you can see in here, there's a good kind of covering of flowers. Um, I put some down the bottom in areas in the, oh, I, can't, I can't pick them up, my, um, in the sort of frit as well, because it's nice to have sort of, you know, the flower meadow throughout. Um, and you're just sort of, you know, putting them everywhere you feel like. And you end up, hopefully, after that, after that, it's going to go in for a kind of nice light tack fuse. And you should end up with a project like this, which is just going to be totally beautiful when you can hang it up in a window. And I think we'll make someone a great Christmas present. Or oh, what a great Christmas present for you to have that you can get someone to give you and then you can make and keep for yourself. So I hope you like these. Uh, we've got kind of them coming throughout the days ahead. Um, so far, we've got eight projects on the website that you can have a look at. But I think we'll probably have many more in the future if you guys like them. And I feel... But many of you, it's kind of hard. I use lots of different products in my um, in my um, YouTube videos, and this is a way of you know you being able to give these a go without having to buy so much stuff. You can buy just what you need for this, and there'll probably be a little bit of leftover stuff that you can then use in other projects. You can see we haven't used all the stringers or all the frit, um, so you can make another little something with it too. Um, I hope you've liked this. Uh, this isn't on YouTube, but we will put this up on YouTube as well. And if you do, you're welcome to subscribe to our YouTube channel or just like us on Facebook.